Hello everybody, it is Nikki over here at Black Dog Vintage and Antiques and I haven't done a haul video in a little bit so I figured I would give you one now and show you some of the goodies I got so excited that I picked up today. I love when you go on a, a, a sourcing and you come back and you're like, oh my gosh, that's really cool. So I had a few of those today that I was just really excited about. So first I've got this really, really gorgeous and large and in charge flower enamel brooch. I love the 3D quality to the center of this. It is huge. It's like a prize badge. Like you wear that and you're just like, yep, I got that. So that's one of them I got today. And I got another flower enamel brooch here. And that's this blue one. It is gorgeous. And I just love the bright vibrancy of this blue one in particular. So these two were fun little finds. I did get another flower one here. This is a nice little sparkly baby. Look at that sparkly baby. It is so pretty with the AB. My camera's not focusing great. There we go. With the AB centers. Oh, that one was so pretty. And those, one, none of those were marked. Then I found this guy here. This is just gorgeous. And this one is marked on the back. It is marked Austria, which I thought was really cool. Another really nice sized brooch there. Then I came across this one. This is these, I gotta clean out. These are enameled flowers, but then we have rhinestones and some AB up in there. And this is a coral brooch. Very excited to find that. It's again a very nice size. It's like wearing a little corsage. It's never going to fade and wilt. Then I got a really pretty star or snowflake. Great for the winter that we have to deal with. At least if you live in the Northeast, right? Oh, where's the other one? I'm going to have to go find the other one. And then this, I loved the black and white and shininess of this one. I just thought it looked like a gorgeous snowflake, mini flowers, really, really pretty. So I found that because I found some unusual things today while out and all of those are great. The, the lady I bought them from had them all pinned up on a cork board, which I thought was kind of neat. I have never seen one of these. This is an embroidered postcard and it is from Spain. There's the artist down there and all of this is stitched in and then you have this little piece of lace here on the back and she is gorgeous. Like I said, it is a vintage postcard. It has not been mailed. There's all the information down in here, most of which is in Spanish and high school Spanish is not going to help me right now, I don't think. Let me see. Nope. None of it's in English. It's all in a different language. And I love books and ephemera. I'm really kind of drawn to them now. So I've got this one. And I don't know if you can tell just by the cover as to what it is. But this book here is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. This one does not have a date in it. I could not find a date in this book which is weird because usually you find one on the title page and there was not one on the title page, but look at the artwork. It's just great. And it's a nice little size book. You look really pretty up on somebody's bookshelf or mine if I decide I have to hold on to it. Then I came across this F S F F Scott Fitzgerald. This is the great Gatsby. And this is an early edition of The Great Gatsby. So here's the inside cover. And this one, I love once again, to Zelda. I have to try to finish watching that show. This is copyright 1925 by Charles Scribner's Sons, printed in the United States of America. So 1925. Pretty close to a first edition, I think. Gonna have to look into that. And then I got Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. 
This one is a little tattered here on the edges, but still just a striking book just to have out for display or to read. And this is another really, this is an older one. I don't think this one, this is actually by the Newberry Classics and it does not have a date in it. And that irritates me because I really want it to have a date inside. But there we go, there's that one. And then the, probably the one I got the most excited about, The Road to Oz. The Road to Oz. The only issue with the book is there's some tape up here that somebody decided to tape that together. And this one here inside says, Love to Constance from Barbara, December 25th, 1926. 1926. This was gifted to Constance. And I love it. She didn't even write it where the book belongs to. The Road to Oz. Calling on Jack Pumpkinhead. Oh my Lord. Ooh, take a look there at the lovely picture of Jack hiding inside his pumpkin. So some really, really great illustrations in this book as well. And right in the front, oh, to my first grandson, Jocelyn Stanton Baum. And Jocelyn is the boy's name. I actually might have to photocopy this page. That is a great page. Kind of in love with that page. So this is, I don't know, he wrote an introduction, this is 1909, but this is just a fabulous book and I was super excited to find this. I got it at a really killer deal. I love my lady at the barn. I really, really do. So, oh, what? Well, one last thing. I found a unicorn today. It's not often that I find a unicorn, but I found me a shiny unicorn paperweight today. And I was really, really excited that I found it. So focus on that, not on me, silly ring light. So that was it. That's my little mini haul. Um, yeah. So make sure you tune in. I do, uh, video drops every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm trying to keep up with the static sales every Monday. And maybe as the season gets along, we'll keep going with some crazy Wednesday thing too, with some crafting things. I got some friends out there who want to do some crafting videos. We'll try that. I do live sales every Sunday on YouTube with my partner in crime, Janice. So if you're not subscribed to her, please go sub to her too. So you can see, cause we flip flop channels back and forth on Sundays. And I also do a live every Tuesday on Instagram. Um, so every Sunday's on YouTube, it's at 1 p.m. Eastern, and every Tuesday night, it's 6.30 p.m. Eastern on Instagram. And like I said, we flip-flop back and forth, but Instagram, it's a little bit easier to find us. And just in case you don't, please follow me on Instagram. Please like and share and subscribe to me here if you just found me and you kind of like some of the stuff that I'm picking up. Um, that might be all the information I need to give you. And... Come back and see us anytime. Until then, stay swanky and stay classy.